Good morning and welcome back to our channel. It is time for a garden tour. It is the beginning of August now and things are starting to die down a little bit, which is okay. Um, I'm ready for it to be done. I mean, kind of, yeah. I'm ready for it to start slowing down a little bit. It's been a busy month. We've had a lot more rain this month, which has been good because it had been so, so dry the rest of the year. Or the rest, yeah, basically all spring. It's been so, so dry. So now that we've gotten some rain, things are looking a lot better. And yeah, it's also made the weeds grow a little bit. So if you're new here, we have a 3,400 square foot back to Eden style garden, which is right behind me. And we have some berries and fruit trees and things like that. So let me show you. We're also in zone 7B in upstate South Carolina. So just to give you an idea of our growing season. Our first frost will be probably mid October. So we have a couple months left to grow things. I actually need to get some fall planting started, but have not gotten much done yet. <laughs> Our peaches over there never produced anything. Our blueberries produced handfuls, and yes, there are blueberry bushes in there, but I need to get in there and weed that grass again, but uh, I don't have time. Anyway, my raspberries have produced quite a bit. They're actually showing up above the grass a little bit better. And my rose is coming back for another blossoming, blooming time, which is pretty cool. The blackberries have not done as well this year as previous years, probably because of it being so dry, but We've got enough. My freezer is pretty full of berries right now and I need to make jam for the winter. So they're doing okay. They also have given my two-year-old lots and lots of blackberries to munch and just come out here every day for a snack and she loves that. So I love that. Our elderberry jungle is starting to ripen. I don't know if there's, oh there's some right there. I come out here. It's hard to pick them it's hot out most of the time but I come out with just a little jar and try to pick off a few ripe ones at a time and stick them in the freezer. Our apples that are down there they're probably getting close to being ready. I need to figure out when they're gonna be ready to pick. There's only like five apples out there. And then the rest of our garden. It's kind of hard to see with the sun right there but it'll be okay. So over here in this corner we pulled some carrots this month. Got a couple pounds. Not too bad, but also not great. I have hardware cloth in the bottom of this bed and the carrots couldn't grow deep enough. So we have some rutabaga that probably need to come out of there. There were peanuts. Yeah, I guess they're still down there. They're just very small because they're sheeted up by the rutabaga. And we have a huge, massive, jungly bungly of sweet potatoes. There used to be a path through here, but not anymore. Anyway, we have mint and mint has escaped my container into my regular garden. So, you know, I'm probably gonna regret that someday. But not yet. Anyway, we got marigolds everywhere. Our tomatoes are almost done, which I'm okay with. We've gotten a lot of tomatoes and a lot of not great looking tomatoes. So it's been kind of not fun to deal with them. Rotting on my table and smelling them and ugh, it's gross. So then we have peppers growing. I have jalapenos, but I don't really need them very much this year. Um, I do need the banana peppers that are growing over here. So I'm glad we have those. Um, I use them for banana pickles, pepper pickles, you know, that type of thing. And we have just regular bell peppers. I probably need to come pick some of them down here because there's a yellow one down there. Anyway, over here we have some honeydew. Picked a few of them. And we have watermelon. It lost its tendril, so I'm not really sure when it's going to be ripe. We have oregano in there. It's hiding. These rutabagas also probably need to be pulled. They're probably like way past. You know what I mean? And I love this red flame flower. So pretty. Volunteered here. Yeah, I just love it. <laughs> we have more sweet potatoes down here. They are growing quite wild. And yep, I'm just gonna walk on the plants because to get through, you kind of just gotta. Is that a pile of tomatoes back there? Oh no, I didn't leave a pile of tomatoes back there. So then there's random flowers, and oh, I forgot to pick that tomato bush over there yesterday. Oops. Oh well, we'll catch it next time. And the Anna Sunflower House is starting to die back. Probably should pick some of those sunflowers and let them uh, dry so we can harvest the seeds. And she's got her little bean trellis over here. Oh, I wonder if she has a cucumber. Those look like cucumber flowers or something. I'll have to look. I didn't know that she planted any of that over here. I mean, this is her little bean trellis that she made. Looks really good now. She planted some radishes and beets, but I don't think she planted them deep enough. And so I don't think they're going to grow very well. Anyway, Back over here to our tomato jungly bungly. We still have not gotten any ripe pumpkins, but I did see some small pumpkins over there. These zinnias 
almost as tall as me. It's pretty crazy. So then here we just have our strawberries and basil. Our rosemary is actually taking off quite well and doing very well. Our corn, we're just waiting for it to dry out. This is a glass gem popping corn, I think, or ornamental corn. So I'm trying to wait for it to dry out. I don't really know. I just hope bugs haven't gotten in into it. And all that. But it's really tall, like nine feet tall. Anyway, strawberry plants. We have wild tomato plants everywhere. <laughs> Let's see. We took out cabbage and stuff from here. I don't remember if I had done that last time or not. Anyway, our beans, I thought they'd kind of stopped producing. And then I came out one day and there was a whole bunch more beans. So we have beans again. Never had them really do that before because most of the time they die. Then, let's see up here. We have cucumbers that are starting to get pickle worms. So we're about done with cucumbers. That cucumber bush kind of looks like it died. Um, lots and lots of volunteer zinnias. We do have a cantaloupe hiding down in there. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. It's kind of hiding. And we have one hiding over here. But I've not pointed out to my two-year-old, otherwise she'll pick them. Probably. Anyway, we have more. More, 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 more zinnias. More watermelons. More sweet potatoes. Trying to get through this jungle. Ah. <laughs> Let's see, I pulled up some onions from over there earlier this week. They were ready. So much jungle in here. I mean, I guess it's good ground cover, right? We pulled a 40 pound watermelon out of here this week. It was a volunteer. 40 pound watermelon. We're still eating that thing a week later. We have some sweet potatoes that I planted later in here. And they're, they're coming. They're just a little bit slower, which is fine. I did plant some potatoes, but I did not see any of them poking up, which is why I don't really like planting a second wave of potatoes, because I think it's kind of pointless. So then this side of the garden is kind of just weeds. I tried burning off this Bermuda grass several times, and it just keeps coming back. So I just have to get in here and pull it. I need to figure out how to get rid of it better because it's annoying me. Oh, I should probably cross back in here. Go through this jungle. Whew. We do have peanuts growing in here, which is pretty exciting. Some of them have died, but there's a few that are still looking really good. So I'm excited about having peanuts. Once we finally got the deer to stop munching them, they've actually taken off and grown quite a bit. I just had to put out some hair to repel the deer and they have stayed away actually for a good long time. So that's good. So then, yeah, this is the other side of the corn and the zinnias. This was a potato patch, but there's nothing really growing in here anymore. Let's see if we can find that pumpkin that I saw in here earlier. Let's see. So as you can see, it's definitely not looking the greatest, not producing a ton right at this moment, but it's fine. Let's see, the pumpkin was in here somewhere. Oh, it's hiding back in there. Anyway, I know this has been a little bit shorter than some of my other garden tours, but there's just not a whole ton growing. We do have some broccoli plants and cabbage plants started, but that's about it. So it's getting to be fall. We got a lot of preserving still to do. And we're about ready to be done with it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. What's growing in your garden this year? It is still going strong, or is it about ready to die off, be done for the fall? See you next time.